the place we are walking on used to be where homes used to be before this flash flood and everything has been washed away joining me now is gta chairman mr anit thapa sir uh pe jo hai, the situation here is quite worrisome nobody would have imagined that the river which used to flow along that side would come up all the way here in a flash flood and sweep away all these homes what is the situation now how many people in this area are missing how many are uh, or are there any casualties feared actually in 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 this region almost uh, not till now 11 percent is missing and one is already casualties and here there is a village before deep before there was a village but now where we stand here everything is collapsed everything is a mess it's very sad to say around uh, more than 5000 people they get suffered now almost uh, here only 90 to 95 house is collapsed now we have keep them in the shelter house uh, thank you God, in this place there is no casualties. And uh, so this was quite sudden because uh, you can still see I think down the, uh, this, this, this is along the NH10. Yeah. And uh, I think the road there also has been washed away because the river is flowing this way. No, almost uh, NH10 is completely collapsed. Uh, there is no connectivity here. Uh, yesterday we came across the villages road. From Dazling there is a connectivity but Main, main highway, there is no connectivity. Not only one side, there are several times there is breakdown. Here we have a COVID hospital out there. The, now road is not there, hospital is not there. And the road used to be up, way above the river. Now yeah, it's exactly. completely at... No, here, here there is a road before. Huh. And again we have a COVID hospital, big hospital there. Now hospitals are collapsed. Everything, here we have a village. There is a, we have a house. Huh. So there is now, it's, I don't know what to say. Sir, uh, you know, as uh, an administrator, how long do you think this will take to recover in terms of just restoring basic connectivity and giving uh, people homes, uh, places to stay? I guess for now the people they are in a shelter house or in a relief camp. We have uh, staff the relief camp, but it will take time because I have to uh, locate the land first. I have to talk with the government. The government will uh, definitely cooperate in this matter because she and Madam itself, um, uh, yesterday he, she, Madam, uh, she is quite, I think she is in ill health. But she um, do the press over the phone. She is also worried about it. So um, government also cooperating. We have to first locate the land. Then we have to uh, uh, revise their, their houses and hold. So now one question over the Tista. Tista floods every year. NH10 has been a recurring problem. It's not the first time that NH10 has been snapped. Is there a permanent solution to this? Because it seems NH10 is the most vulnerable. It is a very important highway. But it is also the most vulnerable highway. And... Every time the Tista floods, NH10 washes away. Yeah, actually, uh, this is the first time uh, it's a biggest flood in the Tista River, in my opinion. But NH10, every, every, in rainy season, the people, they get suffered. If the government did not think the second way out, it will, uh, the NH10 almost, it's collapsed because of there is a, no, so many damp out there, hydro project is there. So because of that, and railway project is going on, so this NSN, there, I, I think there's no future of NSN furthermore. So there needs to be an alternative yeah, road there, also? There, there, there definitely need an alternative road. Right. I think government is planning for that also. Thank you so much, sir, thank for you, speaking to NDTV. That was Mr. Anit Thapa, the GTA chairman, Gorkha Territorial Administration chairman. And of course, we are walking along the banks of the Tista right now. Things are under control. Just about 36 hours ago, this area was completely swept by flood waters as a result of the flash flood washing away homes livelihoods and people are thankfully safe from this area but there are reports of casualties feared and reports of several still missing which is a worry for the administration with camera person gd shankar at the stabazar saurabh gupta and a tv